Eyewitness News is working to bring you stories committed to helping our community heal and grow with the issues now at the forefront. We're calling it justice for all. Biblically speaking, a clarion call by way of brass instruments is associated with the gathering of a holy assembly to get people's attention on extremely important matters. I recently met local musician Jeff Bradshaw at South Jazz Kitchen on Broad Street, and he was more than happy to toot his own horn about the times we now live. <laughs> It's been sobering um, where we are right now, just sobering. North Philadelphia native and Grammy Award winning self-taught trombonist Jeff Bradshaw is using his musical platform to fight for justice in America. <laughs> Not just the police brutality and the excessive use of force by police, but also for the systemic racism that's in corporate America, the music industry. You know, it's all over. And all over America and the world, the march to equality is on. Every nationality, every, from every ethnic, ethnic background, they're all in the streets. I had to do something. <laughs> He wanted to take the right steps, so he took to the steps of an iconic Philadelphia venue for what he and many of his friends and hundreds of strangers called a clarion call for justice. Shakespeare said something to the effect, when words fail, music speaks. I dreamed of being on the steps of the art museum, surrounded by horns as far as the eye can see. Two stories. I dreamed about it. And if you can dream it, you can do it. And we reached out to every horn player that we knew, from New York to New Jersey, to Philly, to Delaware, to Maryland, to DC, and they came from everywhere. There was plenty of music and plenty of diverse dialogue toward change. It's a teachable moment for us to talk to, to talk to white people, to talk to people that are not black and explain to them and talk to them about, hey man, hey man. Hey man, something has to be done. And another clarion call for justice is a great place to start. Saturday, June 27th at 1 p.m. is when Bradshaw and friends hope to continue to hit all the right notes toward change once again. Music accompanied by conversation, he says, is one of the right ways to make it happen. Because collectively speaking, I'm just sick of being treated the wrong way. I'm doing it because I need to be able to tell my grandchildren when they murdered George Floyd, I got in the street and took my instrument and called people to join me. And we tried to make a change through music and through our voices. And that he helped to do it here in his home, sweet home. Saturday, 1 p.m., the Art Museum steps, another clarion call. If you don't play a horn, no worries. Your voice is an instrument of discussion with harmony being the common goal.